Look at the state of my hair. Who cut that? The couple met on a night out, and for Andrew, it was lust at first sight. I was standing on the edge of the dance floor just clocking all the women, and then... <laughs> Makes you sound like a right yeah, predator. Yeah, <laughs> I was a bit predator, I'm not going to lie. But then the prize was there, it was just like, wow. <laughs> we lived to party, really, back in the day, and we did it every weekend, didn't we? Every weekend and sometimes some weeknights. Yeah, it was good times. <laughs> Me in, in this thing. But two and a half years ago, everything changed for this happy family. I started suffering severe pains in my pelvis whilst I was three months pregnant with Violet Rose. Quick, quick, catch me, catch me. <laughs> After I had Violet, we've actually found out my pelvis dropped on one side. So the whole time I've been moving around, the bone's been rubbing away like this. I can barely get to the end of the garden without feeling the most severe pain I've ever felt in my life. It's stopped everything, hasn't it? Um, there is a big operation lined up, which is going to happen pretty shortly after the wedding. So we've got so much hope pinned on me being fixed by this operation, it's unreal. Because we just want everything to get back to normal, don't we? Desperately. It's mine. She puts a brave face on all the time for people, but deep down, bless her heart, she is finding it hard, but to me, she's still Jennifer. Doesn't matter if she can't walk too far or go anywhere, she's still my Jen at the end of the day. All right. While Jenny's condition restricts her, Andrew's really had to step up. Yeah. I've become like a full-time carer, the mum slash dad. Right, kids, come on. Go, go kiss. Bye-bye. Oh, come on, man. You do everything, don't you? Having to well, do the yeah, cooking, the cleaning, the I do what we have to do runs. just to keep the family going, basically. It's what I've got to do. I think anyone would do it in the same position. And when he's not looking after Jenny, the kids and the house, Chef Andrew works part-time shifts at a local pub. Over the last couple of years, life has been difficult for Andrew because he's had to you know, be the man of the house. Not that he wasn't the man of the house, but he's really had to step up and sort of look after them and look after all three of them, which isn't easy for anyone to do. He's done really well, so I'm proud of him. And perhaps understandably, lack of money and the effort of day-to-day -day life has forced romance firmly into the background. I'd like it very vintagey, oldie woldy, a true princess style. Since this has happened to me, I'm invisible, you know, I'm just that woman that's hobbling around. The wedding day is the one chance to forget all of that, and I'm going to be Jenny, the bride, and everyone's going to notice me, and it's going to be part of me again and my identity back. She may have no control over her big day, but Jenny can choose something special for her mum. Here's all the lovely hats. All right, then, which ones do you think, then? Look at that flat one over there. This one? Yeah. Mm. I quite like that. It's very lady at the races. I'm loving this. It's the yeah. one thing I can have control over is you and your outfit, at least. Mum, try on that one with the black on it. <laughs> Oh, no, your face is way too little. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. <laughs> it's over a week since Jenny moved in with her mum, and Suzanne's noticed the effect the upcoming wedding has had on her daughter. Oh, that's pretty as well. Seeing her so happy at the minute, I want to roll forward, and I want to see my old Jenny back, you know, cos... She's my little girl. And I want to see her happy again. And living life as a normal 36-year-old. Because she hasn't. Sorry. It just gets me when I talk about it. Because <laughs> you hide it. You hide it and you suppress it for her. So she doesn't see it. You know, we've all had our moments where we've all broken down and sort of cried for her. But she would never know. So we're hoping this will be the boost she needs and we'll get the Jenny back that we all know. I think it's going to look lovely. Absolutely perfect, Mum. Come on, then. I'm going to go see Princess Jessie. There's just over a week until the big day. And although Jenny won't get to choose her wedding dress, she knows exactly what she needs to boost her confidence. Wow. 
looking for something that's really beautiful on the top half, because my top half is my well half. So I want something that really shows off this half. No, that's just run-of-the-mill bridal. I'm not sparkling or anything in that dress. Look at this. Oh, oh wow. Well. Oh, wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. Which is so lovely to see her smiling for a change. Does it? It just feels so lovely, the way it's sparkling, and it feels so lovely and comfortable because it's actually so light. There's no netting yeah. or massive meringueness to it. It's just the most perfect dress because it's it's got everything it needs to up here. I just feel more amazing than I've felt in the last two years. You can't really do much better than saying that you are going to marry someone and standing up and doing those vows. It's an everlasting bond. It's that proof that you really are committed. You really, really love each other. Jenny and Andrew have spent nine years together. Now their wedding is just one day away. The bride is finally about to try on the dress, so carefully chosen by Andrew, with a little help from a friend. The dress is so important because this is my one day to feel like Jenny again and, and to look beautiful, feel beautiful and, you know, everyone to see me as Jenny the bride rather than Jenny who's going through a bit of a nightmare at the moment and not very well, you know, and, and in pain and I, I want the dress to hide all of that. No one to think about any of that and people to just see me as a beautiful bride, you know. It's got to do that for me. It needs a wow factor. Ready? See your dress? Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> <That's brilliant. laughs> Don't open my eyes. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. <laughs> oh, my God. Jenny. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, wow. He did a better job of cheese than you did. <laughs> it Jenny, that is, is beautiful. Oh, my God, it's absolutely stunning. You look stunning. <laughs> I can't do it to crush you. is definitely a dress that the old Jenny would have picked. Andrew obviously still sees me as the old Jenny because he's picked something that I would have loved, you know, to have worn, but he's just, he's done a better job than me at picking something. He, he knows me better than I know myself, you know, and yeah, he's, it's almost like he's brought me out of my shell. 